What's your, what are your thoughts on, say, Linda or Yara? I don't know if you have those pictures yet. Yes. So we'll take a break and come back. But, you know, off of not paying a bill mm -hmm. at the Intercontinent. Yes. And being arraigned in court. Mm -hmm. And everybody then got to see it was around Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. So it was this hot, you know, uh, issue and everybody was talking about it. And then after that, you know, gets interviewed here and there. And um, she's going to be, I think, on a radio show at mm -hmm. some point, mm -hmm. she, she said. And that her bill was paid by Caroline Motoko. So she's already been propelled off of this didn't pay bill. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? I, um, I just want to say, I want to agree uh, partially that the media is to blame. I think sometimes most media houses or newspapers lack content. And the slightest, most mediocre of things is blown out of proportion. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I don't know about... This is not about... I disagree with you about lacking content. That's an interesting story. It's over Valentine's Day. Somebody stays on Intercon. They don't pay their bills. It's an interesting story. But I would... We don't I, only I cover would, politics. I would, uh, I, would, I would interview them highlighting the negative aspect of what it is. That I wouldn't glorify that. It's a bit bizarre. Like, so oh, you, you feel it was glorified? I'm sorry. I feel, I feel like she's being rewarded for... Not paying a bill. ...an imposition, mm -hmm. you know? Is she being rewarded or is she being rescued? I, I don't know about she being she being rescued. rewarded, or rescued. Or I think rescued. it's more. Like, I mean, what's the difference between her and that politician who maybe tries to get away with something that they could not, uh, you know, afford in one way or the other? It's it's uh. a form of impunity, and uh, the, I think the the. The danger in it is the fact that uh, it suddenly puts her in the spotlight, mm. and now people want to be like her. So, no, but I well, let's blame the people who want to be like <laughs> her. Yeah, you yeah. I, I hear this all the time. Oh, look at Vera Sadika. Now our children; those are the role models they have. You don't have to pick that person to be a role model. It's a choice you make. You know your values. You know what you want to grow into. What you but what if, to. What, what, what if what if what, when it becomes acceptable to the society? And, and you read stories of, oh, look at her car. She actually has changed the car from this to that. And people are making socialism, is that a word? I don't know. Socialitism. <laughs> a cool thing. Like, oh my god, hi, another socialite. Mm -hmm. Is she and being rescued? Be I like what she said. Mm -hmm. Being rescued or is she being glorified? She's been given the spotlight for. Well, what happens is uh, some, some, some things happen by chance. Some, mm -hmm. Let's just say that this because was a whether, whether, whether she gets the, the radio show or not, well, some things happen by chance, and then you, you get exposed uh, in a different way. It's, it's a different platform. Many stars have become stars um, uh, on the streets and, and stuff like that, or even scandals. But um, I, I think the most uh, highlighting factor here is who played her, because you know she's been claiming that uh, she could afford to, to pay to pay the bill. She said. Um, um, uh, she was taken to court and uh, charged a, a bill of uh, 100,000, which she paid for. And uh, she was saying she really didn't get enough time to raise the cash when they were saying they wanted the money in four hours. But it, look at it, it was on Valentine's Day. Clearly, yeah. someone must have played her and then told her, end up a room. But how long did she stay in the hotel though? To a cool two hundred thousand. She, she, she said she, she was in the, for, for well, in the presidential that. suit. <laughs> so before we go and break very quickly on a light touch, yes. if she was well, if she gets to finally do the show, mm. what kind of a show do you see her having? Like, what do you think would? Be I, I think she, she can be getting people a job. Getting people a job. Yeah, she can. Be getting, she yeah. what kind of a job? <laughs> something, <laughs> something. I think punchy. Have you seen her interviews? She's, she's. I think she would be good on radio. Uh -huh. Yeah, something like Drive Time Show on Kiss. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Would I you? don't know. I need to look more into. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Rescue people. It could be a, you know. Has uh, he not she, paid the bill? Yeah, Call they can, us. They can start. They can start <laughs> right. Yeah, I line. certainly think she would do a very punchy show. Probably a very early in the morning or evening show. Why She's got punchy? a lot of energy. She has a lot of energy. And, uh, uh, no. If, if, if she had energy, she would have paid the bill. <laughs> no, uh, no, but look at it this way. She, yeah. still, she, she, still, she can do an afternoon show and for herself. She still stayed in a hotel, hotel and, and accrued a bill of 230000 and she got away with it. It wasn't hers entirely. There's something not being said here. <laughs> That's well, those idea. eyebrows, <laughs> oh my gosh. We take and a she has no eyebrows. Oh, did you see real? her photo in Dubai and in Kenya? Yeah, what is that? There's Dubai, a dark... she was dark black. In yes. Kenya, she's... You guys. You I think I'm in the sun. Huh? The sun was hot. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> she got a tan. That's she not got, a tan. That's not a tan. <laughs> that's like a burnout. That's Kutoa Tint. Anyway, let's take a break. And when we come back, we'll look at...